Uh, welcome back to Mega Man 64. This is Slider. And we can go into this place. Good to know. Thank you, officer. So welcome to the Apple Market. Why is it called the Apple Market? Let's ask this guy. And this is how they teach us how to look at things. Hold the C right and you can look up and down. That's why it's called the Apple Market. Because there are banners that say Apple. Okay. Let's go to the clothing store. Okay, first thing I should point out. This guy looks cool. Uh, but the, the second thing is that this part originally was uh, supposed to have someone to commentate with me over this. Uh, but that recording kind of failed, so this is a re-recording with just me. Because uh, she'll, be, she'll be in the following videos. And it'll be fun. But for now, it's once again just being by myself. Looking around the stores in this market. We're in a music shop. Fun. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, yes, the samples. So, as this is a game, this is a port of a game, uh, they actually took something out from the original game. And as in the original version of this game, you could uh, listen to samples of certain uh, genres of music. Like, you would think they would just put songs from the game, but they're just original songs that were put in the game that sound like certain genres, like... Class from like classical music to metal. Though obviously they have the limitations of being a 64-bit game. What's this about treasure? He apparently doesn't want to tell us anything about some girl. And apparently he doesn't like strangers. Yeah, they're not the most welcoming people, are they? But regardless, she found 50 zenny in the trash. Because that's where you put money. And in this box, and yeah, we're going to be checking things like this a lot. We found a broken cleaner. We'll find some use of that uh, soon enough, I think. I hope. Next, let's check out the electronic store. What's in here? Wow, a VCR. You all must be a pretty big movie buff. to care about a VCR. <laughs> Again, a late 90s game. Last early 2000s. I distinctly remember we didn't even when this game came out on the N64. I didn't have a DVD player at that point. Not sure how early I got a DVD player compared to like you know some families. Um, we didn't get internet until like late 2002. And, like, pretty much all my friends had internet at that point, I think. Uh, but anyway... There's nothing to find here. We want to check out the junk store instead, if we want to find anything to help our ship. What's a fruit? That'll fix your ship up! Okay.
You think, Mega Man? Yeah, it's not a good idea. What's over here? What? 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 Um. What? Mega Man. What? Wait! 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 So, so Mega Man Six Four is a game in the world of Mega Man Sixty Four. Uh, um... Uh, sure, it's a cute dog, um... I, I'm, I'm just not gonna think about that anymore. Yes, this place has ruins. You should keep that in mind. That's different stores. We even have like we have two stores for clothing, one for guys, one for girls. So there are a lot of places here. Um sure, yeah, let's go with that. It'll look good on you. Buy it sure, okay. I'll buy it. Why not? Oh, you were just kidding. Uh Well, I was just kidding about kicking you through your body. So there. Anyway, let's check out the mirror. Mega Man, that's not the mirror. The mirror is to the left. That's a wall. You're staring at a wall. You're staring at a wall. You're staring at a wall. But anyway, let's... But let's actually look at Mega Man's face. Because of the camera controls, most for the most part you only see the back of his head. So in order to see his face, we have to do this. Good okay, great now Mega Man is checking out women changing clothes. How do you know that? Uh, okay, lady. Sure. I mean, I'm just accepting this. Where else have we gone? Uh, no, we don't. Too bad. But yeah, until we get an ID card, we can't go further. Have to enter insert a citizen's card. Yeah, you should buy them instead. It was weird about that peeping on supposedly peeping on a woman, but as long as nothing else weird happens. Uh, oh, Japan. You're so... Japan. Anyway, here's a fun trick. If you hit a trash can, or kick it, and it doesn't, and it reacts like that, there's an item inside. Like a friend, like 20 zenny. But there isn't anything. The lid just goes fine. Good thing to keep in mind. And anyway, let's finally enter the junk store. Ten minutes in.
Dig is where you go underground. <sighs> sure, okay. Somewhere near the entrance. So anyway, now we have a quest or something. Anyway, what's whoa? What's what's with this? It's a stuffed reaver bot. An old family heirloom. We like scaring our customers. Anyway, back outside. And no, the, the ships aren't ours. Anyway, look, it's Data again. Hi, Data. Okay, we'll save. What should we do? It's obvious. Why are we? I'm not sure why we're asking data here. Honestly, why do? What? We know what to do. Why is? I understand from like gameplay perspective, like in case you forget a thing or what to do next. I like the idea that Mega Man has no idea what to do, even though he just got told what to do, and went outside to do it. But apparently Data is the one who contains all this information instead. Mega Man's memory must be t terrible. Just awful. And we can hear Man's voice. Man, my favorite character. Anyway, these are... These are ruins. Kind of like at the beginning of the game. But a lot quieter. Now, first thing is, I was trying to actually lure these uh, enemies down. Because I want to get all the... Uh, zenny That I can from when I defeat them. But this is ultimately a waste of time. They're not coming down. They're just gonna keep attacking. Yep, this is just gonna keep happening. At this point, I might as well just shoot them, honestly. Yeah, they didn't even drop anything, so it was pointless. Now, the... Another Reaver Bart... Uh, Reaver Bot appeared. Okay, let's... There's a hole in the wall. If you check this hole... Find a refractor shard, we get more zenny. More money. Defeat more reaver bots. Run to a wall. Good times. And defeat more worms. That worm just tackled me. Again, these enemies are not a real problem. They are not a threat. Now, we could help him, but first... I would like to, uh, fill in the map, because I have to do that for some reason. Yikes. Anyway, we defeated all the enemies around here, so that's good.
Let's jump down and then drop, jump back up again. That was pointless. Anyway, let's save this dancing man. We saved him, alright. So now he's probably gonna leave. And that's done with, so now we can leave. However, first I actually want to check out the ruins a little more. While we're here. First of all, there's these new Reaver bots. They're like a mixture between a landmine and a bub bomb. So obviously when they start to uh, do whatever they're doing. Oh my god, I'm completely blanking on the word choice. When they start flashing, I guess. You know, flashing colors. Then those uh, little robots explode. Or they will pretty quickly. Anyway, ahead of us is this odd blue thing. It's one with legs and one that's kind of like an antenna. Let's go with the antenna one first. Uh, not wise. The antenna ones uh, are not really a threat. They're just kind of there. So yeah, the, the, those ones are useless, but these walking ones, a lot more dangerous. They run around and can just run into you, or they can shoot fireballs. Luckily, I kind of tricked it there. For some reason, it wouldn't move. Confusing, but I'll take it. And there's another one. Ran into a wall- ran into the wall again! Drop some larger zenny, so... Grab that for more money. That's good. Okay. Another one of these silly... Stationary ones. Which are essentially free money at this point. And three health. Not sure what those symbols are on the wall. But let's check out the chest. It has a rapid fire. This is another buster part, like the one we found at the very, very beginning. Don't know why I felt to use the tutorial again for this, but whatever. Go to Buster Parts and... We have a bunch of, uh, menus here. Some for normal items, from some for special items, like that refractor we got at the very beginning. That's gonna come in handy in a minute or so, but... For now... Uh, Rapid Fire. We can equip two of these, we already equipped the Power Razor, and now we've equipped Rapid Fire. Pretty obvious what it does, it makes us fire a little bit quicker. Not a huge difference, but there is one. Every little bit can help. I 
Anyway, we're pretty much... Um, I'm not gonna say we're done, but we're almost done here. Because, uh, if we keep going... But okay. Right near the entrance, we can go in here. And onto this new area. Now, this new area, unfortunately, is not actually important. We can't actually get up to the where the other robot was, and thus we can't get anywhere else. And there's this large door thing. Wall. Vega looks like a door with, like, the middle of it. Maybe that's just me. Regardless, we can't go anywhere else. But just to show that that is, in fact, there. There is more to explore in this place, definitely. So let's fill in the corners of that map a little bit. And then let's go up here and get out of the ruins. Roll seems to be here now. Seems to, seems to be looking over this old vehicle. Spotter's car. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, we did. Thank you for reminding us. I guess. Whatever. Oh, slow down. It'll never end. Anyway, it seems like these kids are playing some game. That one's named Osh. That one's named Bensley. I'm pretty sure it's a fusion of both the first and last name of Ben Kinsley. And this is Jim. His name is Boring. He and his five polygons will just stay in the corner. So we saved the junk store man, all right. That's good. Now we, now we can get a reward. Cool. Mine parts kit. Interesting. Yeah, we saw that car, all right. If you want to call it that. Ooh. Oh, okay, sure. Yes, actually. But the uh, yeah, they don't actually have anything for that here. But we can buy a lot of stuff here. Just not stuff to get us home. Or at least off this island. Now, uh, what is our name? Mega Man? How about, you know, Hi Hippopotamus? Yes, that is our name. Mr. Hippopotamus. We'll be back. So, next time at Hippopotamus 64, uh, no, but seriously. Go back and see what we can do with that car. Mega Man, were you able to find anything? Oh, 
If you can't find any parts in town, I guess we'll have to try digging for them ourselves. That's what the man at the junk store said. That might take a while. Which means... Huh? Mega Man, what's that? It looks like a weapons upgrade module. Oh, this? Yeah, the junk store man gave it to me. He said we could use this car to hook it up. You mean we can use this car? Well, come on then. Let's get it attached right away. There, it's ready. This weapon lets you use landmines. Just drop them in front of an oncoming enemy and boom! Just remember, there's a limited number of mines, so make sure you use them sparingly. Do you want me to explain what this weapon does again? I'll get to work on fixing this car up. I'll be able to help you out and maybe spot for you if I can get it running again. Oh, we can talk about a lot of the things we can do. This is going to be a very important part of the game in order to get literally all of our uh, special weapons out of this first one we got it for free. You can use C left to use the special weapon. got a bunch of stuff and also item development and that's how we get special weapons if you talk to roll and you bring certain items up you can get a bunch of new weapons ah there you are I've been looking for you so I could give you this your citizens card Now you'll be able to use the city gate. Of course, there are some gates that can't be opened, but... Why is that? Pirates. We've received information that indicates there are some headed this way. So as a precaution, we're evacuating the civilians and locking the gate. Pirates? Um, our grandfather is still inside the city. Will he be all right? Well, I'm sure he's heard the announcements about the pirates. If I see him, I'll make sure he gets to a safe place. If you'll excuse me. I'm worried about Gramp. I hope he'll be okay. I'll go look for him. You wait here. Okay, Mega Man. Be careful. Okay, so it seems... This place is going to be attacked by pirates. Doesn't sound good. Uh... You sure about that? Okay, Data, if you say so. Regardless, uh, next time on Mega Man 64, we're going to try to go into the city and warn our grandpa about these pirates. Uh, but first... Let's try it on a sub weapon. Sweet of mine. It's not going off. Why is that? Ah! Uh, uh, God damn it. 